So the samurai took out the Vikings, then charged it against the white men. Oh my god, they took out they took out twice the amount of enemies. Hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This time I'm gonna be trying to do a for, uh, for honor type of matchup. And basically in that game you have Samurai versus Knights versus Vikings. So first off I'm gonna have a uh, red army I'm gonna have to start out with three Samurais. Act yeah, in the game it's three versus three and then you have a bunch of uh, soldiers. So first off I'm gonna start out with uh, three versus three. Three Samurai versus three Vikings. Let's check it out. Fighting in the Samurai home turf. Let's go. Let's see who makes the... Oh! Oh! Flawless victory! Let's try in the Viking home turf. Come on Vikings! Give you the frosty advantage. Home come advantage. Home team advantage. Oh! The terrain, did it make a difference? Oh, uh, one versus one. And Samurai won again. At least the Vikings didn't lose as uh, as badly as the first matchup. Now, of course, in the game you have other soldiers helping out, so I'm gonna throw in some farmers as uh, those minions. Got, I don't know. How many farmers is that? 3 minus 12 equals 9. Okay, 9 farmers it is. Bounce it out to 12 as well. Oh, I should put them in front. Right. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Back to the Samurai home turf. Oh my god, the Samurai just killed his own peasant. His own farmer. While the Vikings and the peasants, I mean the farmers, are fighting in a lock, in a lock wall. Oh, wow! So I guess you can't just expect to win with heavy infantry all by yourself. Let's see if the terrain changes any difference. Uh, can the Vikings secure another flaw, flawless victory? Oh, the Vikings won ahead this time. Oh, and of course they dive right to the doom. Two samurai still alive, one Viking still alive. This is a much more close matchup. That's kind of weird. Vikings did better on the enemy turf. <laughs> and then this time the samurai did better on the home enemy turf. So far it's pretty even, huh? Well, Samurai has three victories to one. Okay, now it's time to try out the Knights versus Vikings. Unfortunately, there's no Knight model, but there's Footman. Three versus three, just like last time. Let's go. This is the home field for the Knights, so let's see if they can secure the victory. Oh boy. 2 versus 2. What? That guy has a sword in his back neck. Oh, okay. And, oh, 1 versus 1. This is a really close match. For some reason, the Samurai are quite powerful. They don't have any shield or anything. For the most part, they're... They look quite similar to the footman, so I'm not sure what's the deal. Why the samurai has so many. Why the samurai is always winning so much. Now they're just walking around in circles. Come on, one of you kill each other. Okay, red victory. Let's try the Viking home turf. Oh, 
Oh, working! Oh, look like they're going for a close look first early lead, but then does what man? The knights cut them down. Now another chasing match. This doesn't happen with the samurai. What's going on? Oh, he's tripping. The tripping balls here. Look at him. They're tripping on the other guy's balls. Come on, just stab him away. I think the problem is the Viking is too fast. And I guess the footmen are s slow, so they can't chase down the Viking. Oh, Viking took one guy down as he died. Didn't want to go down without a fight. So another two wins to zero loss. Let's see if adding some farmers will help the Vikings like it did last time. The Vikings do a lot better if they stay together with their peasants. Once they charge in, they get an island. How the footmen doing? One footman standing. Oh! Peasants won the victory for the Vikings. It's kind of weird. Vic peasants, I mean, the farmers uh, outperformed the Viking. I guess the sheer numbers does it. Let's do it again for the Knights Home Turf. So, will it be another replica of the Samurai? Three versus three victories versus one loss? And one footman still in. Oh, look at that guy. But that was two footmen. Whoa. Overwhelming victory for the Knights. Huh. Same result as last time. Vikings had one victory, three losses, and the uh, other team, Samurai Footman, had three wins, one loss. Let's try foot the uh, Knights versus Vikings. I mean, Knights versus Samurai. Oh, we did Knights versus Vikings. Here they come. Oh, Samurai seems to attack a lot faster. <laughs> Darting around. Looks like Hollywood movie stuff. And Samurai got a victory. Two men standing. Now let's see if the terrain changes things up. Victory. Yep, pause victory. All three samurai still standing. Okay, let's see how this will go. Home turf advantage to the samurai. Really love how the farmers. Walking the line. Reminds me of those Total War games. Oh, 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 oh. So far, a pretty even match. Both sides dying. Oh, but the Samurai take the lead. And they secure the victory. One Samurai standing with three farmers. Maybe it's a little too spread out. Does that change things up? Okay, now. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Gotta go to the Knight's home turf. Maybe they're skewered because they're too uh, too close together, too punched up together. Let's see how this makes any difference. Interesting enough, the peasants attack in the same kind of direction that the swordsmen and samurai do. Ooh. Oh, so what was that? Three victories for the samurai and one victory for the knights. 
It seems like knights. I mean, uh, samurai is the strongest, and when the knights being second and Vikings being weak, as you think, the Vikings would do better with their shields, right? Well, since I did all these three versus three, let's try uh, just line of samurai versus line of Vikings. Fifteen sounds like good, good number. Here comes the samurai, charging in with the Vikings. The Viking tripping over the, sh the rocks. Oh wow! And the Viking secure this victory. It's an even match. Four versus four. Three versus two. Three versus one. Oh, Vikings lost. Oh, two versus one. Took one out as he died. Maybe I could see what happens if I add in. Samurai has so many victories. Let's see if Samurai can take down Footmen and Vikings. Let's see how powerful the Samurai really are. Come on. Oh, looks like a Samurai overwhelming loss. Okay, so Samurai isn't that overpowered where they can beat the enemy forces 2 to 1. Maybe just 3 versus 3. 3 Samurai, 3 Footmen, 3 Viking. Let's see if the Samurai have a better chance against overwhelming odds this time. Oh! See, the Vikings attack faster. So the Samurai took out the Vikings, then charged it against the Footmen. Oh my god, they took, uh, they took out twice the amount of enemies. They were outnumbered 2 to 1, and they actually won because the Vikings walked so fast. <laughs> samurai are forced to be reckoned with. Let's, let's try right out of the way around. Three Footmen. Three samurai, three vikings. Let's see if let's see if the the footman can do the same as well. Let's see if the footman can take out the uh, vikings first and then take on the samurai. Oh oh, mm, didn't do as well as the samurai did. Oh well, let's. I can already guess the Vikings will not make it through this challenge. Let's see if they can even score one kill. Three footmen, three samurai. Oh, let me give the Vikings home turf advantage. It's going to be hard because they're all charging at the same time. Oh, Vikings got two kills. That's a lot more than I expected. I was expecting zero. So, obviously these are all random matches, but it seems like Samurai is definitely stronger than the Footmen and the Vikings. I'd have to rank Samurai first, Footmen second, and Vikings third. Let's see, I just want to do one more final. Let's see. Samurai with some archers. Footman with some muskets. This really has nothing to do with the game, but this will be the final battle. I want to see how powerful these samurai are. Can they withstand the range attacks? Oh. Oh. Samurai killed a oh, man. One samurai versus three muskets with three archers in support. Oh! 
Oh, Sam is dead. So he wasn't strong enough to take out the muskets. Okay, so I guess uh, that wraps it up for this video. To repeat, samurai are extremely powerful units. Hopefully they'll uh, add some more units to this. Maybe there's something else that can take out the samurai in the full alpha. So hopefully you watch. Hopefully you, uh, <laughs> of course you watched this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. And drop a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time.